Hello guys and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. So well, first of all, we got our update, we got our information, let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna have for the next VIP, and of course, the new medals that is going to be Axel, Roxas, and Xion. So, first of all, let's talk about the VIP, because there's something very interesting that we need to talk about the VIP. So, as you can see for the VIP, um, this is going to be the next VIP that in this case we're going to have the same. We're going to have 10 Mughal um, and Sora medals. We're going to have 100 draw tickets again, the banner again, and 100 gems of each one of the elements. Then there is like, um, well, I don't know what it is, but well, as you can see, it's just like um, covering your mouth though, like type of, of a knife though, so it looks amazing. Um, but what I really love about the next, next um, VIP it's actually this. The next VIP is going to be the the wings that like it looks amazing to be honest. It looks very amazing. You got the black wings, you got the white wings. Um, of course, this is just for VIP. And we're gonna have a new thing that is called a brilliant gem. This is something related with the new material system that we're gonna have um, by the end of October. That I think it's gonna be an accessory. Um, like an accessory craft that they let us know that at the end of October we're gonna have that so that's why we're actually having the brilliant gem and as last we're gonna have 100 ge um, 100 draw tickets again the banner the 10 Sora and Mugo Mego metal sorry and 100 gems of, of each one of the elements so pretty much this is the VIP that you want to look for I don't know how if you're gonna have this elemental situation and I think that on Friday we're gonna have a, a stream related about the the accessory situation so that's kind of cool actually something out of the subject i actually saw a briefcase for playstation 5 and well, i have to save my money <laughs> but that is something that i don't want to talk about so now let's talk about dark road as they mentioned on dark road they are they actually going to release two new um cards that it's called roxas and nominee <sighs> just woke up like five minutes ago so it's common that I'm actually yawning right now. Now, um, as you can see, Black Hole, a powerful water elemental physical attack. This one, as you can see, the power is very amazing. And sub ability, it's attack boost. Strength for, for 2 for 10 seconds. Stacking cards did not increase the value. Can be applied more than once. Pretty, pretty good. And as well, we got the nominate that looks very amazing. This nominate is from the intro of, of Kingdom Hearts 2. Looks very gorgeous. That's where when she sings Sanctuary, I think, I don't remember. Single of a circle of innocence, a powerful light magic, um, like elemental magic attack, and cure. Restores HP, amount restores is based on magic. This one is the broken one. Looks very amazing. You actually attack and you cure yourself at the same time. That is very, very amazing as well. Now, let's talk about the new medals that we're gonna have here. So, pretty much, just to make you a quick brief, Lee actually copycats the next three medals before means that um, you need to put it into a slot five or a slot four and he will be he'll copycat a medal if he fails to copycat the medal he deals a powerful attack so this one is just like oh I copycat but in case I fail to copycat no worries I'll do a powerful attack that is the most amazing broken ability I've been mentioned so let's talk about um <clears throat> let's talk about Lee so Give me a minute. I think I'm, my throat is dry again. Mm. I, think. <clears throat> I think I'm good. So, now, again, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, even so, we're going to make an explanation of each one of the medals. So, now, Lee. Fail to imitate special attack of three medals before. And this means that if he doesn't copycat the medal for the next three medals before of that, Deals two hits. For one turn, metal strength for 10k. Provides strength, upright, and power speed magic strength for 15. And charges the enemy's defense, upright, and power speed magic defense for 15. Special attack boost for 220. And the supernova ability provides uh, metal strength for 12k. Provides strength, upright, um, strength for 15. And charges the enemy's defense and the upright defense for 15. Special attack boost for 320. Ignores target's defense boost. Triggers before slot 1 is activated while defending on PvP. As you can see, this 
this power metal it's actually very amazing as you can see there's nothing very amazing about hey you know what we're gonna do any kind of powerful situation no he's actually very OP because he has a two way hit either you can imitate the next metal or you can deal a powerful attack Fairy Tornado X as you can see it's gonna be a reuse animation oh my god yeah a reuse animation requires three gauges and pretty much that's the case now let's talk about Roxas Swift Hero I think this is a reuse animation again but I don't know so first of all Roxas deal three hits that ignore target's attributes for two turns provide speed metal strength for 6k provide strength upright and speed strength on uh, speed strength for 15 and targets the enemy's defense upright and speed defense for 15 <sighs> I can't believe it again special attack boost for 220 count plus 2 and for one turn speed metal strength for 12k provide strength upright and speed strength for 15 targets the enemy's defense upright and speed um, speed defense for 15 special attack boost for 320 triggers free force lot 1 it's activated while defending on pvp now as you can see with this guy Roxas Whoa. <laughs> can you stop yawning for once <laughs> sorry um, this one is nothing special pretty much it's just um, three attacks that ignores target attributes so there's nothing crazy about this Roxas so this is just like the KR24 like the Mickey um, like Jensen like KR23 um, 22 or 21 I, I forgot about the number but yeah this one is not so crazy it's just very powerful attacks and it, it's super effective so maybe I don't want to skip Roxas and I want to go for Axel even so that um, don't get me the wrong idea three hits that in North Target's attributes is very good for PvE to be honest but it's just very simple like Emil, like Emil from Halo Reach would say it tells me that things is not very simple yeah pretty much it's just the same situation like speed metal strength for 6k for two turns that is the greatest buff there and then for one turn for metal, uh, speed metal strength for 12k but it's very simple to attack so. this one is the one that I really want to talk about Xion now Xion Dark Thunder Raid X plus 6 this one is a reused animation Dark Thunder Raid X it means that she throws the Keyblade like a boomerang and then it returns back with a, an effect of a dark attack this one it's already been used it was from the illustrated Xion tier 5 thing yeah if you check on the Xion illustrated tier 5 this one had like a, a music animation and then it had the, this animation but the effect is something that I want to talk about so for three hits one turn metal strength for 10k provide strength upright and power speed magic strength for 15 Target the enemy's defense upright reverse and power speed defense for 15. Meaning that she is a buffer metal. Yes, this is a, a nominate point uh, a nominate 2.0. She's very amazing because it says upright reverse and power speed uh, magic strength for 15 and targets the enemy's defense upright reverse and power speed magic defense for 15. Special attack boost for 220, gauge plus 5, HP max count plus two and cure element status now i may mention this again from the nomina that we had previously you may want to get the Xion as a defense boost six max or or as a, an as an offensive metal i'm gonna do this as an offensive metal because nominate right now is our greatest um you know our greatest, um, what can I say? Oh yeah, our greatest powerful um, buffer metal right now. So you may want to get the nom the the Xion first as a, you know as a, as an offensive metal first, and then for the super durability for three um, sorry for three turns, metal strength for six k, three turns you'll be getting metal speed uh, metal strength for six k, self strength upright and power speed magic strength for fifteen, and targets the enemies. Uh, defense upright and power speed magic defense for 15 I'm sorry again um, special attack boost for 320 count plus 5 gauge plus 5 
and triggers before slide 1 attack activity while defending on PvP. For my biggest win, Xion and Axel takes the tie. Why? Because she is a nominate. The Xion is a nominate, very powerful. In three turns, you get a ma uh, Metal Shrimp for 6k. That's pretty much broken. As well for the uh, Metal Shrimp for 10k, and she provides the, bu the biggest buff. She is actually very good. And regarding the about Lee or Axel, um, he either copycats metal, um, yeah, he either copycats the metal attack three slots away, or he can just attack just very perfectly. And as well, he is very good for PvP because he ignores target defense boost. But this one, I'll leave it on your Kintarium, guys. Either Xion, Axel are very good, and Roxas is just like a. An attack that ignores target's attributes and makes super effective attacks. It's kind of very power powerful. Now, just to give you an explanation, like I mentioned, so um, Roboloid did explain a little bit of things here. So it says, slotting Lee Axel in slot one to three will cause him to use the listed special attack. Slotting him later would make him copy. It's a fun way to choose what he does. Shion Supernova buffs feature strength and other buffs for three turns. That's very good. Also, unlike Anthem the Wise, Rage Form Sora, or Lakering Will, Lee does either the copycat or the listed special attack. He does not copy the target metal while also doing those buffs. It only happens if the copy doesn't go through. Something, just something worth nothing. <laughs> the kind of thing that he actually say. Uh, also, I believe that he they, they did my boy Roxas dirty. He's alright, but Sora does higher buffs while also buffing all strength instead of just speed. That is the biggest lose or the biggest fail of Roxas. As you can see the Kingdom Hearts 3 Illustrated Sora does the same but he actually does all the penetration like he ignores targets and um, the ignores defense boost. That is the biggest win of the Sora besides of the Roxas so Roxas is not very good compared with the Illustrated Sora. If you have the Illustrated Sora Pretty much Roxas is very use, uh, uh, useless for you. So that is the biggest bad thing for Roxas. Like, Kingdom Hearts 3 Illustrated Sora is much better than Roxas. That's what I'm talking about. Also, you can probably tell this stuff takes a lot of time and effort to write up and post. If you're going to use this info of this amazing medals in some other video or image or media credit, it's always really appreciated. I always appreciate your posts, um, Rob Lloyd. Either way, I will not be able to tell about all the same situations. So. Thanks again, Roblox, for this information. So, yeah, pretty much. I can tell you guys, I can tell you guys that, like I mentioned, Axel and Xion are the biggest wins of this pool. If you want to pull for Roxas, maybe it's because you really love Roxas. But to be honest, either so that I love Roxas, to be honest, I don't like the effect. So, I will have to skip Roxas. So, unfortunately, that's the case. But well, if you're wondering where we're gonna have those medals, it's gonna be, it's actually very going to be on Monday. Like the Illustrated Terra Ventus and Aqua, this is going to be released on Monday. Because if I can see in the bridge, um, there's nothing of the news regarding uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Like just regarding about the renewal 5th anniversary draw. Um, I don't know why they renew this yesterday because... There's nothing new or anything like that, and something occurring about the Kingdom Hearts 3 Xion. It says here that the bug content, the effect of the Super Burst Count Plus 3 of the Supernova Plus, does not occur. So that was the only thing. So there's nothing else, there's nothing crazy, so I think that is all that I wanted to talk about. So, well, that is all. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Let's just make a quick recap. For next Monday, we're gonna have Lee, Roxas, Xion. Quick recap. Lee either provides a copycat medal of the next three previous medals that you're gonna use, or he unleashes the attack. So Roxas only provides super effective attacks, ignores target attributes, and Xion is a nominate 2.0. That's all that I can talk about. Now, VIP, we're gonna have an accessory for, um, again, your, your tip, the mouth though, um, for the night situation. Uh, 10 Sora and Mugu medals, 100 draw points. Sorry, yeah, 100 draw tickets, sorry. 100 gems and as well, 
that, um, I think that is all for this VIP. And for the next, next VIP that is going to be into the next two weeks, you're able to get the wings. Um, you're able to get the 100 draw tickets, the banner again, 100, um, 10 Sora and Mughal tickets, and 100 gems of each one of the elements. And introducing us the next brilliant gem that this is a material from... Um, What's it called? Oh yeah, that it will make the situation of the of the crafting system. That is a good thing. Now, one more thing that Robloy mentioned. I'd like to draw your attention to the second week. A new material, the brilliant gem from Kingdom Hearts Unchained. Making this appearance in Kingdom Hearts Unchained, these gems were used to enchant cards. I'm curious to see what will the, they will do in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So, I don't think that this is true about evolving upright to tier 11. I don't think that they're gonna do the tier 11 sooner or later. Maybe they're going to reveal it to the stream tomorrow. That's what I was talking about. That they're, that Tena's gonna do a stream regarding about how does um, the crafting element situation work. So you have to keep that in mind. Then on Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Dark Road, we're gonna be able to get the Roxas and Nominate. Roxas is very powerful and Nominate cures. So both of them are very broken. Very broken to be honest. And lastly, the, the, the medals that we're going to have into the next Monday. So, there's nothing new, there's nothing crazy. I think that for the next week, we're going to have the, um, the, the big bonus challenge of September. And I think another, um, what's it called? I think another element or something like that. But that is all that I can talk about. So, yes, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course... Um, there's nothing else that I want to talk about, nothing cool, nothing amazing, just to let you know, pretty much, this VIP is going to be very amazing, the, as well for the, for, for the, for the new medals, but like I mentioned, I think, related of the, uh, now we already have the nine, um, medals, so, I think I'm gonna do a top nine about which it's actually very cool, and which one it's not gonna be very cool, so, Keep that in mind, and that is just a special video that I want to talk about, about who actually is the biggest win of all the medals that we're going to have on the anniversary. Um, we either throw maybe a, a top, like, a, I don't know, I, I'm just, I just already got the new idea, so I have to think about it. So, hope to enjoy the rest of your week, may your horse be your guiding key, and I'll see you guys on Monday, or maybe into a next video regarding about the about the accessory crafting situation but that is all that i wanted to talk about for today's video hope you enjoy the rest of your week goodbye guys